we're networking. We want to call it Creepy Cool <laughs> Productions. Uh, Teresa is going to come on board with possibly Jen, and they are going to be forming mm-hmm. a podcast dedicated to foster fails. Yay! Meaning well, that... yay for foster fails and yay for not foster yeah, <laughs> that's a good bad thing. It Basically, is a good bad thing. when when people take on the rule of caring for fosters before for pets that mm-hmm. are to be adopted, and then they decide they love that animal so much too they, much because some they are, keep them. Oh yeah, like, you God have bless to them. Love them. That's yes. a special kind of person. It is. So, um, we're working in talks with both of them. So if you girls are listening now, get your ass in gear because that's we right. need a format. We anyway, want you. We want you. I want you to join us. Come on board. Come doot, on. Doot. So anyway, again, we ran off that trail. Train. Yeah, sorry, we were always. That's okay. Off. That's okay. But uh, so Jeanette had come over and we talked, and as it turns out, our sons actually graduated from the same high school. Oh, cool! And she was saying that she had an experience because when her son was younger, mm-hmm. he would, up until maybe about age eight, he would specifically and adamantly recall details of her previous life where he too was married. Up to and age stuff. eight, I think it was eight. She said Holy after shit, that he couldn't recall old. it anymore. That's yeah. pretty old, though. But isn't it funny that, like, when kids have, like, imaginary friends or when kids see spirits yeah. or ghosts or say we're counting. We all pass it off as imagination. But it's like it goes up until about six or eight and it just kind of fades off. And I Why? think that, I believe, I believe, mm-hmm. people at that point, they're too, <sighs> life is imprinted on them too much to the point. The practicality. I mean, sucks. And it blows all the shit away? <laughs> sure, because we're teaching them. They're, really? You know, I know, yeah. We're, we're molding their minds with school and practicality. I know. And, well, this can't be you the way. This to has to be the work. way. You have That's to be right. good. I know. I think too much of, at that point, the molding has started, and then and the... we fuck it all up. The possibility of what if is totally yeah. floated yeah, off, we totally, right? we We screwed you know? it up. Actually, I have to honestly say, one of the things that I've ever shared with my child mm-hmm. about anything is the whole seeing numbers thing and he oh, still yeah. does that now he'd be like mom yeah. it's eleven eleven. oh yeah yeah he'll just randomly all of a sudden say and i do that all the time i'd be like look at the clock i'm like oh okay in my own head i'll i'll, mm-hmm. I'll acknowledge it right. but when he acknowledges it to me yeah i'm like yeah cool buddy because he still sees it so mm-hmm. i'm like okay well that's kind of neat with without giving the age of my oldest son away um He's he was born in the year that they refer to as indigo children because it's the turn of the the century. Oh, cool. They refer to them as indigo children. Really? Yeah. Okay. Born in 99. Nah. So in saying that, they have certain qualities and I found this is true mm-hmm. with a lot of them just you know the coincidences with his friends and some yeah, other yeah, kids yeah. I know born they that year. They all have the same kind they all of have, things. They have like a bump at the back of their head at the base of their skull. Oh, that lumpy lumpy there? Yeah, they have that. Oh, all yeah. Of them. Cool. Um and one of the other things, like say with him, for example, they have a certain type of intuitiveness. Mm-hmm. He had this. He doesn't have it anymore. He's too practical. He doesn't believe in shit, this kid, right? You know, spirits and all this you kind of stuff. You don't think so? Yeah. No, not as much anymore. He's too practical. Like, I, I I'll throw theories I at think him. He, I think he might I hide that I shit. throw theories at him, and he's like, he, eh, he rolls his eyes, and he gives me that look like, practical. okay, mom. Yeah. You think he's being uh, practical. I tell him my theories on life on certain things, and oh, all God, he's yeah. like, oh, well, whatever. Mm-hmm. But but two of the things that struck struck me as odd is when he was, say, around three, four, five years old, mm-hmm. there was two theories he came up with himself, and there mm-hmm. was no way he would have been exposed to any right. of this. We shielded our kids pretty good. Yeah. The first one was, he says, you know, Mommy, he says, I think, you know, when people die, they don't die. They go on, and they come back as something else. Where the fuck would he have known that from? Like, honestly, I would never have indulged him at that age. I got goosebumps on my thighs and legs from that. Yeah. I did, really, just now. As soon as you said just it, because... It came out. Yeah. And the other thing he said to me, he goes, he goes, you know what? Numbers keep going on. They don't stop. They they, they will keep going on. He says, numbers don't stop. Like, yeah. they're, it's infinity, he says yeah. to me. Where the fuck does a six-year-old come up with no. that? No way. Can't no. even count up to 20. Are you kidding no, me? No, I know. No. Well, he... Maybe he could, cool. but I'm not dissing. No, I know. <laughs> I know, yeah. No, so but children have a certain in, inherent, inherent knowledge about knowledge shit that about we don't stuff know. Until yeah. we take them, we form them, we package them. and I just want to sculpt mine into being knowledgeable about lots of stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's my that's my entire life's project right now. Good for you. Because I don't want to kill anything. No, don't anything. kill that. I want to sculpt all that shit. That's right. And make it a where do you want to go what do you want to do yeah. what do you believe yeah what do I, you that's believe? right because he has so many friends that are uh, i'm sorry i don't mean to diss the spiritual world and everything and religion but he has so many friends that are extremely christian 
well, sure. families, Because right? that's the path And he they talks follow. about it, but we don't do that. But he talks about it, and I acknowledge it, and we talk about it. Right. And we talk about Buddhists, and we talk about whatever, and yep, yep. every culture there possibly is, because I want sure. him to be a whole human yeah. being yeah. that is learning from wherever. And if he learns some shit that yeah. I haven't taught him, yes, that he's born with shit that I haven't taught him, I, who knows? I would never diss a religion. I am not religious. I see no. a lot of faults in religion because it's oh. a control tactic in my book. Yes, okay. and it is some is so However, governmentally... Oh, totally, totally. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. No. It's there for a purpose to control the people. But at the yeah. same time, there are a lot of different religions that have certain value to it because they teach a certain principle for people to have a certain amount of... Respect about things. Right. So, yeah. I mean, there's a good a good yeah. and a right time and a bad place. You know, if I think of a re- to time. me, to me, my own personal self, uh-huh. if there is a religion that preaches or practices hate or death, right, or any kind of other persecution of another thing, yes, it shouldn't be classified as a religion to me, right? Because I think that's not a good thing in the world oh, that no, people sure. should ever believe in. And there are a lot of religions like do that. Do as that I say, not as I do, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, seen and not be heard. But we're not going to go on the religious Anyway. Side. Anyway, yeah. getting back but on track. But that's children. Children. Sculpting children. Sculpting Which children in minds. It's children, like clay, so, right? you know? Yeah. Um, but we're going to tell you some stories of past lives of kids. We totally got blown off on that. <laughs> we totally did. <laughs> I blame it on the tequila. I blame it on booze and alcohol. Tequila. Oh, and just to go back on track too, like uh, mm-hmm. we're back on track. Well, well, going back to our two ramble episodes here. In between, we're gonna have the third part of our investigative uh, paranormal investigation at the Lower Fort Gary. There's oh, yay! One more coming up. Cool. I kind of wanted to break it up with our ramble episodes oh, yeah, no, and stuff. That's cool. You know, yeah, I know. Um, because I love Sherry, and, I know, and, and I was we busy. want to share the ghost love and with I you folks. Busy. I know. This I know. Is horrible. I'm so sorry. It's days. summertime. Oh There's God. weddings and shit so going hard. on, and it's like, oh my god, yeah. But uh, we wanted to bring it back to the pod lounge, which is why we're here. It's Thursday, we love Thursday. the pod lounge. We love the pod lounge. Hell yeah, we love each other. Um, in the pod lounge. We're drunken fools. Drunken fools and tequila and yeah. tequilos, tequilos and tequila. Tequila. Oh, we got tequilos. Shit, man. Yay, yeah. Yay. For tequilos. But uh, on uh, part three, it's going to be very cool. I just wanted to throw a little blurb in that because I, I did table tipping, hey? Oh, yay. For and it fucking table. worked. It was freaky. I got to v- see the audio. We're having problems oh, with the audio. Up the, the uploading to YouTube. I know. I, I'm not too sure if we... Share that that might be on the shit. That might be on the audio, but not on the video. I think the video kind of died. <sighs> but when I said to Kristen, I said, do you mind if I put my phone... See, like the thing is when they use their uh. instruments, the phone sometimes interferes with the... With the reception on their gagger counters and all stuff. That, oh, you know, course, the yeah, sensitivity and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But mine didn't. And I said to her, Kristen, I said, can I put my phone on the mm-hmm. table? And she said, yeah, because she knew I was recording. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And shit happened to me. Like, cool. shit happened. Like, you felt. But I'll leave it at that for now. Cool. So, so please listen to part three. If you were a little bored with part two, it was all part of the process. Part three is coming up in the next week or two. Cool. That's all I want to say. So now, sorry. Yay. Back on track again to our the past lives that kids will talk about. Okay. And you have a story to tell? Uh, la, 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 or la. share? Share or share? I will share. I think this is when. Okay. I was with my sister, her husband, and the two-year-old daughter. We were talking about loved ones that had recently passed. My father had died sometime recently. My brother-in-law went and grabbed a picture of his mother who had died in a car crash when he was six to show me. When my niece saw the picture through, she started laughing. We asked what was so funny, and she looked at us and said, That's my special friend who sings to me. I still shiver a bit just thinking about it. It was not really past lives, but someone that she knew right. from eons ago. That reached out and touched her. That was kind of or creepy. Something. And she liked it. Ooh. I know. I've got one here. Uh, this is courtesy of BuzzFeed. I like BuzzFeed. Sometimes they're pretty good. Yeah, they are. Uh, this one story says my four year old told me about the time she went for a swim in the lake and could hear her mom yelling and crying out to her but she couldn't come because she was under the ducks and then she remembered falling asleep and when she woke up I was her new mummy ooh ooh (gasps) Ooh. okay that's creepy I don't like that one so I don't have that one I don't have walking past an old cemetery my then three year old son casually said my brother is in there 
When I reminded him he didn't have a brother, he said, No, Mama, from before, when the other lady was my mommy. Mm. Ooh, that's sad. That sounds like I, a short life. I know. That is sad. That's sad. I've got this one. This strikes a nerve because 10 years before. Anyway, I'll, I'll explain after. Okay, okay. This one here. My two-year-old niece pointed at the collapsing Twin Towers on the screen and said very Whoa. clearly, I Shit. die. No. 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 That's creepy to me because I was actually at the Twin Towers 10 years before it happened. I have pictures of me on the Twin Towers. Really? I, 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 so does no, thousands yeah, yeah, of yeah. millions of other people. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. No, could have happened no. anytime at any place in anywhere, right? Yeah, but that was... Not a, anywhere, but there. That was but, a horrific hit. That was a... That was just oh. a mind screw. Okay, this isn't really so much of a... But this just... I, I'm sorry. This isn't really, but... It says, when my cousin was two years old or so, her mom got pregnant again. One day she went to hug her mom's belly and said... Little brother is sick. A few days later, she had a miscarriage. Aww, it's not a past thing, but, but I just still, thought, oh. How, how in tune, eh? That's two years old. That's so sad. How the hell would they know that, though? I don't, you know, know what I mean? I know. Ooh. This one here I have my four, again, it's like four to six, right? Like, yeah, you know, it doesn't, I know. After no. that, it's donezo, right? Yeah, I don't know. This one here, my four-year-old nephew talks about being on the Titanic. All what? the time. Really? He said he was with his wife and that it was really, really cold. And every time he watches the movie with boats or bodies of water, he gets freaked out and wants to turn it off. Oh, see this one I've said before, but I don't know why. This one just still, I've actually shared this, I think a couple times before, but mm-hmm. this, this, this to me implies something really bad happened. Getting my two and a half year old daughter out of the bath one night, my wife and I were briefly uh, her and how important it was she kept her privates oh, clean. Yeah. She casually replies, "Oh, nobody scoops me there." They tried one night. They kicked the door in and tried, but I fought back. I died, and now I'm here. Oof. She said it was like it was oh. nothing. It's not weird though. Like who? Like would she even... even knows, right? Like, exactly. Like a two year old wouldn't know that kind of no. shit, right? I know. This one here. My three year old son told me that he smothered somebody once. <gasps> I asked him if he knew what that word meant. And he said it meant holding a pillow on someone's head until they stopped moving. I asked him, when did he did, when he did that? And he said, oh, a long, long time ago. Whoa. Okay, that's Sleep creepy. with one eye open, man. No one knows anything about freaking smothering anyone like no, that's creepy. Not at that age. Holy shit. My sister Haley was born exactly two months after our great grandmother died. One day Haley woke up. And informed us it was her 95th birthday. Oh, wow. When we tried to reason with her, she started crying, saying her real name was Irene, my <laughs> granny's name, not Haley. This lasted all day, and the next day she didn't remember anything. Wow. Isn't that weird? That is freaky. That is weird. It's like a little passing over of, like, mm-hmm. something. Wow. I've got one here that's really cool. When my son was two or three, he'd talk about being an adult who rode horses in the woods. He said that one day he got hurt riding and then everything got dark. And then the next thing he knew, he was with me. I asked where he got hurt and he pointed to the birthmark on his stomach. Oh. Oh. I've heard of that before. Like, I don't know. Like, going back to our uh, Ramble Soda episode yeah, we just yeah, did yeah. with regards to omens and superstitions yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they say that is actually i've seen memes on this before but i never posted to our facebook page mm-hmm. because i don't know i'm 50 yeah, 50 yeah, yeah. they say that for the people that have the weird birthmarks or like you know like the big birthmarks or familiar ones yeah they say that that's a scar of where they got hurt when they died okay <laughs> oh no what are you going to show us no see, ah this, keep your no. clothes on sherry see this one yeah my dad has one. Oh, and my grandpa had one. Oh, but they they've They've in a slowly, line. Yeah, they've slowly lowered on the same side. Weird. Isn't that weird? Am okay, I... sure, you can put your clothes yeah, back on I'm now. I'm good now. Yeah, it's all good. Bye, Chico. Whoa, whoa. It wasn't that high. Booty up call with Jazz and Cher. Yeah, it wasn't that high up. It was just No, no, so it good. was. No, but yeah, no. Huh, Isn't that weird? Interesting. That is interesting. And my brother doesn't have one. Well, he's not special, then, is he? No, he's does not he special. Listen, does he's... he listen to our podcast? Brother, you're not special. <laughs> <laughs> You were an accident. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, I think I was the accident. Oh, were you? <laughs> yeah, Oops. I think I was the accident. Oh, well. I'm sorry. I was an accident as well. It's okay. Uh, well, we're all accidents in some, well, some more than others. <laughs> Form of forms. Mm-hmm. 
And you got any other ones? I got a few more here. I have a, so many. I'm just trying to read ones that are like. 